Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Many computers have a CD or DVD drive that can create recordable CDs or DVDs so you can save content from your computer onto removable media for transfer. To burn a CD or DVD in Windows 11, you must first insert a blank recordable CD or DVD into the corresponding drive in your computer. After you do that, if autoplay is enabled on your computer, a small notification box appears in the lower right corner of the screen, telling you to select the notification box to determine what Windows 11 should do when a blank CD or DVD is inserted. Once you tap or click the notification box, another message box appears in the upper right corner of the screen and shows the actions your computer can take using the software programs available. Alternatively, if autoplay is not enabled, then open a file explorer window. Then click the This PC icon in the navigation pane. Then right click your CD or DVD drive in the right pane to display a pop up menu. Select the Show More Options command in the pop up menu to replace the smaller pop up contextual menu with a larger pop up contextual menu that shows more choices. In this larger menu, then click the Open Autoplay command to open the same message box in the upper right corner of the screen, which shows the actions your computer can take using the software programs available. Depending on the software and apps available on your computer, you may have several choices appear. In this lesson, we will examine what will occur if you select the Burn Files to Disk File Explorer command. After selecting the Burn Files to Disk File Explorer command, the Burn a Disk window then appears. Type a name for the disk into the Disk Title field. Next, select the type of recordable CD or DVD to create by selecting the desired option button. You can select the Like a USB Flash Drive option button to format the disk to behave like a removable drive to which you can add and erase files like a USB drive. However, this disk may not work on computers using versions of Windows prior to Windows XP. Alternatively, you can select the With a CD slash DVD Player option button to create a standard recordable disk that will play on most computers and CD players. After making your selection, click the Next button to continue. If you selected the Like a USB Flash Drive choice, then Windows formats the disk. You can then display the CD or DVD within a File Explorer window after Windows finishes formatting it. You can then use the disk as if it were any other folder on your system. You can copy files to the disk and delete them when you are finished. If you selected the With a CD slash DVD player option, you then view an empty File Explorer window into which you will need to copy the files and folders to burn to the CD or DVD. To finish burning the selected files to the disk, click the See More button in the ribbon at the top of the File Explorer window, which looks like an ellipsis mark. Then select the Finish Burning command in the Buttons drop-down menu that appears to open the Burn to Disk wizard. In the Burn to Disk wizard, the Disk Title field should show the name of the CD or DVD you already entered. Select the desired burn speed from the Recording Speed drop-down. Optionally, to close the wizard after you finish burning the disk, check the Close the Wizard After the Files Have Been Burned checkbox. Then click the Next button to continue. Windows will then burn the selected files to the disk. If you check the checkbox, the wizard closes after burning the files to disk. If not, then click the Finish button in the final screen of the wizard to close it. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.